Hello and welcome to my garden. Today I'm going to tell you how I control a particular problem pest on both my plums and on my apples. I garden as organically as I can. I don't like to spray my crops, my fruits or my vegetables. I like to try and control pests with organic, with physical barriers, with other control methods which don't involve chemicals. I'd rather leave the caterpillars for the birds to eat wherever possible and for the green fly and the black fly to be eaten by ladybirds and hoverfly larvae. But there's one particular pest that I have to take special action against and that's the little maggots that eat into fruits. You can find them eating into plums, called the plum moth caterpillar and you can find them eating into apples called the codling moth. The maggots themselves burrow their way into the centre of the fruits and start uh, eating away at the fruit itself. They can cause the fruits to fall to the ground prematurely so quite often in the summer you'll find apples scattered over the ground under your apple tree and if you look closely you'll often find if you cut them open that those have been infected with codling moth caterpillars. To control them, I use these pheromone traps. You can get one to control the maggots on plums for plum moth, and you can get one for codling moths. These traps work in a particular way, and I'm just going to show you how. Now, both kits, whether you're controlling the plum maggots, caused by the plum moth or the apple ones caused by codling moth. But both the kits work in a very similar way. I'll open up the codling moth one first. We can have a look inside. Now, the trap itself is little green Corex trap, which can be reused and recycled. So it can be used for several years and you can buy refill kits for them. The little plastic trap opens up inside here so look inside Oop. we have got some sticky glue cards so this trap has got two glue cards and two pheromone capsules inside the trap itself i'll make one end up basically you've got to fold up the edges of the trap and this will clip in to the side just bear with me and I'm just going to clip this into place here so you literally have to push the plastic sides in place to make the end of the trap leaves the other end open the first thing I'm going to do is to put or we'll get the glue card ready now this glue card is very, very sticky. So I've got to open it up carefully. Try not to touch the glue inside because it will stick to you. Just gonna leave it there for a moment. And then you get one of these little pheromone capsules. Now this little capsule, and here it is, gives off the fragrance, the scent, produced by the female moth. In this case, the female codling moth. So I put that in the middle of the glue card and then I put the glue card into the trap. Now, the scent of the female moth wafts up into the air and attracts male moths to come into the trap itself. And the male moth comes in thinking there's a female in there, gets stuck on the glue card and is killed before hopefully it gets a chance to reach the female moth. So if the male moths haven't met the females, they haven't bred, the female will not be laying any eggs and therefore you'll get no maggots eating their way into your apples or into your plums. Now you should hang these pheromone traps in your fruit trees from around about the middle of May and the pheromone will be released to the air and any male moths on the wing over the coming weeks will be attracted into the trap and controlled. You've got two sticky glue cards and two pheromone capsules in this particular kit. So after a couple of months or so, 
you'll replace that glue card with a new one with a new pheromone capsule and this will go on working throughout the season. So here we are towards the end of May. I'm going to get these into my apple trees and my plum trees so that I will control the moths and hopefully that means that the crops of fruits I get this year will be completely free of maggots. I'm going to hang this pheromone trap close to this cordon trained apple and in a small garden if you've only got perhaps four or five apple trees then one of these traps should be fine to keep the rest of the fruit trees free from pests. If you've got a bigger orchard perhaps you'll need a couple of these hung at intervals around the orchard to control the pests and the same with with plums. Leave it in place and if you check that glue card after a few weeks you'll be surprised if there are codling moth around how many male moths are trapped on the card. Here's one. Just look and see how many moths this particular trap has caught. So I know that those male moths have been attracted by the scent of the female moth on the pheromone capsule in the trap. They've come inside the trap hoping there's a female here. They've got stuck on the glue card and they'd be controlled. And this means that I've controlled the pest in a natural way without needing to spray. As I said, these traps will keep working for perhaps five or six weeks and then you can replace the glue card and the pheromone capsule inside with another one and that will keep the uh, crop free from pests, hopefully for the remainder of the season. Now there is a natural phenomenon in apples called June drop and so you'll find in the summer poorly pollinated fruits will often drop to the ground. Also fruits have been attacked by codling moths and you sometimes see a little damaged area or a brown area on the fruit itself which shows that a moth has eaten its way into the fruit and that means there's a little maggot inside the fruit and those might fall naturally to the ground in which case they can be controlled, clear them up, put them on the compost heap, get rid of them or if you find them on your fruit trees themselves, snip them off as you thin out your crop. And you can thin out apples just to leave a fruit about a hand space apart. Two fruits on a truss maximum. If you leave too many fruits on your apple trees, you'll end up with lots of small fruits. If you want larger fruits, then thin out the crop accordingly. So depending what sort of fruit set you get in the spring, depending whether the blossoms have been well pollinated, that will dictate how many fruits there are developing and that will dictate how many fruits you need to thin out over the summer. And if you do a good job, if the pheromone traps work well, you will stop the fruits being infected by codling moths or with plum moths on plum trees. It will keep the fruit healthy and once we get round to the autumn, when you're picking those delicious homegrown fruits, you can rest assured that when you bite into them, you're not going to find a maggot inside. The plum moth trap works in a virtually identical way. The Corex outer, which can be recycled and reused year after year. You can buy refills with the glue card, the little pheromone capsule. Just drop that into the middle of the glue card itself push the glue card inside and close up the trap and then this can be hung in your plum tree. And again in a very similar way to the apple codling moth trap, the plum moth trap can be hung in my plum tree. The pheromone capsule will attract the male moths to come in and uh, kill them before they get a chance to reach the females and it should keep my plums free from maggots.